Welcome. What I want to do is show you how to take when we have a computer game that's going to be original price of $4.95 and what we're going to do is we're going to buy that computer game at a discount of 47% and then what we're going to do is we're going to calculate the tax to find what is going to be the actual final price that we're going to have to pay. So the main important thing when, when computing try to have you know, original price and so forth, what I want to do is um, to solve this, I'll show you a quick way then I'll also kind of show you a little bit of the longer way to kind of make a little sense. So the first thing is, if I know my original price is $4.95, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a proportion with my discount. Now, I know my original price, but I do not know what the discounted price is going to be, which will be X. Now, remember, this is going to be your whole price, right? It's your original, it's the whole amount. And then I'm taking a discount price. Now, when dealing with percentages, the whole percentage is 100 now what we're looking at is we're not looking for what is the discount of 47%, right? Because the discount, that's saying how much we're going to take off. So once we take off 47%, we're going to be left with 53% of the original price. So that's why I'm going to use my proportion with 53 over 100 rather than 47 over 100. So then what I can do is use cross multiplication. So I'm going to multiply 100 times x and then 495 times 53. And when I do that, I get 4.95 times 53 equals 262.35 divided by 100. And I get x equals $2.62. Now, and we're going to actually carry, we're going to actually keep these decimals down here as we'll round. Um, but the one thing I want you guys to notice is, See how I multiplied, then I divided by 100? A quicker way to kind of do this is just take, if you were to convert this instead of using it as a whole, if you were to convert this to a decimal, move this over by two decimal places, you could simply just take 0.53 and multiply it by 495, and you'd still get this exact same answer. Now, the next thing it says, we need to calculate the tax. So the tax is going to be how much you're going to be purchasing the prop purchasing the game for. You're not purchasing the game for $4.95. You're purchasing the game for its discounted amount. So again, what we're going to look at is we could create another proportion um, for this. But what we're going to look at is, again, what I'm trying to do is I'm going to be multiplying this by 0.7%. Um, so I want to see what is going to be the value um, of point, or I'm sorry, point, what is going to be the value of 6% of this property. So what I can simply do, rather than doing proportions like I did before, I can simply just take 0 0.06 and multiply it by 2.6235. And when I do that, I get the tax, the amount that we're going to add as tax is going to be 15 cents. Okay, so it's roughly 15 cents, but we're going to carry that 7 because as I add the amount of tax, Onto my original price, what I have is 2.6235. I get a final value of $2.78. So therefore, the total price, so the amount of tax I'm going to pay is going to be 6%. So I'm going to take 0 0.06, multiply it by the amount that I'm getting my game at a discount, and I'm going to add the amount of tax to how much I'm paying for the game to get my final price of $2.78. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you add tax with a discount. Thanks.